In 2016, we successfully piloted Translator Gator, focusing on translating development-related keywords from English to six languages spoken in Indonesia. This year, we transitioned into the second pilot. This time, we focused on disaster-specific keywords. Again, we relied on the wisdom of the crowd. So UND was pleased to partner with Global Post Jakarta on the second edition of the Translator Gator, a web-based game to crowdsource translation of disaster management and humanitarian action uh, related keywords with, on, with the support of online players. From Myanmar. From Vietnam. From the Philippines. I can see that whatever I'm doing right now is gonna help in the long-term process and to know that I've been, I've been a small part to be in that long-term process is just something very, very different and very exciting. This is a very interesting game because it allows you to help not only the people in your society to raise their awareness about disaster risk reduction, but it also helps you to improve your language skills both in English and in your own native language. I found the game fun and at the same time it reaches my vocabulary. I hope in the future more countries will be included in a project like this and youth volunteering can play a much stronger role. I have very glad to join in the second translator greater project and become the winner. I see that the project will raise awareness among the youth uh, on uh, disaster rich response and how to manage them. This really shows the power of, of volunteering and how provided with opportunities, people are coming together to help uh, supporting development solutions in their communities. Um, a big thank you and appreciation actually go to all the volunteers that they are online or on site who have been uh, supporting through either playing or help disseminating the game and made this project a success. Thank you very much. Having gathered translations in almost 30 languages spoken throughout the region, we hope the data that we've crowdsourced will be used for computational social research initiatives. We hope this will not only help understand the responses affected populations before, during and after a disaster, but to also better communicate with them through various channels.